What's good everybody? To Keste and Jones Eats. And we're hunting for some good brunch and we ended up at Happy Tart gluten-free patisserie. And they have like vegetarian, they have non-vegetarian, they have gluten-free options, they have vegan options. They got something for everybody. So while wow. Tequeste is in there getting the food, um, I'm out here because it's a beautiful day in the lovely Commonwealth of Virginia, Northern Virginia to be exact. We're about 20 miles from DC, actually like 15 miles. So while she gets the food, um, I'm gonna wait for it because I can't wait to dig in and see what we got. Get back to you later, peace. All right, uh, so we back. We're back at it again with another review, which means that we get to eat again, which means that you guys get to enjoy the ASMR that we are providing. All that. All right, let's let's get to it because it's well, brunch time. Whoa. He actually didn't pick this, but somehow we ended up here at Happy Tart. And I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful. I am too. Because his first choice was something else, but We'll get to that choice another time. So that beautiful um, biscuit that you're seeing there, gluten-free. And yeah. then he got the hash browns, mm -hmm. which I cannot wait to this try. This is a salmon, a salmon um, omelet. Yeah. <laughs> salmon omelet. Fournier crepe, which is essentially a smoked salmon crepe. Mm. Look at all of that, look at all that. And I got pause for a moment as we Whoa. give grace. Look at this biscuit. I know, it looks amazing. We give all thanks to you, amen. Amen. Of course, yeah. <laughs> somebody comes by in a boat, motorbike. Not uh, not to be confused with a Bora Bora. Mm. Mm. Home fries is homing. Mm -hmm. It's homey. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the home fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take let's take a bite of this omelet, and it's got the uh, the salmon. Looks like it's really it's cooked, but it's not overcooked. Still pink. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Really? Yes, it's got um, sauteed onions in there. I can see the onions. Mm. The salmon with the onions, wow. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. I mean, it's like, isn't that like a lox, bagel with lox, when they put onions on it? Normally they're Sometimes. raw though. Yeah. They so, raw in a bagel. onions and um, eggs. You can't never go wrong with onions and eggs. And, uh, there's some, uh, what is this, sour cream? Really? Oh. Some kind of cream in there. Hmm, interesting. That's good. I don't think it's sour cream, it's some kind yeah, of cream. I don't think so, although we do love to add our own home, homemade sour cream to our eggs at home. 
Mm. If you've not tried it, it's a game changer with your huevos rancheros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. So I opened up my cup so that you could see some of the beautiful fillings. Y'all see all that? Yeah. 10 out of that 10. That looks good. It looks good. It's still a 10 out of 10. That's delicious. So good. My love, that's delicious. This is a good brunch. Let me feed you. That is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you gotta try. Oh, this is like some cream cheese. That makes sense. This sauce is like a cream cheese in it. Hold up. You gotta get a good bite. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's, that works. Mmm. Wow. That's a good combination. But you make the best omelets. I reckon you should give this a go. Yeah. I'll get you the smoked salmon, my love. I'm gonna try to get this, uh... I'll bring the smoked salmon home. Cream cheese recipe. I can make one. I'll make a cream cheese at home. These crepes are so mm -hmm. good. They're mm -hmm. made with buckwheat. They're wonderful. God. Man, that is so good. I don't know which one is better. What's the green, um, what's that green sauce on the crepe? I think it's, um, it might be parsley? Parsley? Oh, like it, you think it's like mm -hmm. blended mm -hmm. and uh, liquefied parsley? with some other spices. Not with spices, but like <clears throat> made into a cream sauce. Cause I'm tasting, I don't know what, I can't, I can't figure out what else is in that, this uh, cream cheese in sauce, but it may be cream cheese and sour cream or something. In yours? Yeah. Let's see, let's pull up the ingredient list. Oh. Mm. Mm, okay. Mm, this is. Soft, soft on the outside and inside. It reminds me of um. Let's go. These scones from Baltazar in New York City, if you know Keith McNally's place. Oh. Crazy about their scones. It looks, it looks like just a scone. like that. Yeah. Ah. So good. Ten out of ten. Mm, mm, mm. Ten out of ten. It it's does good. not get old. Oh, we're brunching. We're brunching today. We're brunching, all right. Why can't I get pick up the menu? Hang on, guys. We can get the ingredient list. Oh, here we are. And uh, hash browns, you know, you just hash browns. Oh. I don't know how to get this color. So yours is smoked salmon, caramelized onions, red onions, feta, and cream cheese. Oh. It's both feta and cream cheese. Mine is smoked salmon, cucumbers, carrots, green onion, avocado, arugula. It's a pesto. It's a pesto. And then a cream cheese, a, oh, a swish bechamel, and a balsamic reduction. I got bechamel in there? Wow. They do. I do. I didn't pick that up, I have to say. Oh, maybe that's what this is. This the is a bougie... Uh... <laughs> It's a bougie, uh, yeah, just mm, how we like it. Nice and bougie. Facts only. <laughs> Facts only. Well, we didn't, I didn't have, we didn't have breakfast. No, and it's, it's and nearly three. Lunch. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Um, this is the first time me having this this omelet though. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Yum yum yum. <laughs> mm -hmm. Help yourself, man. With rosemary. They, yeah, and they give you a gener generous portion mm -hmm. <clears throat> of home fries. Your rosemary. Mm -hmm. That's why I got the uh, hash browns, because she had the rosemary yeah. home fries. 
How do you feel about the price point? Um, it's like eighteen to twenty dollars an entree. Mm -hmm. Standard in this area, mm -hmm. and I'm sure parts. Uh, um, I'm sure it'd be maybe it could be cheaper in uh, Middle America. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, That's for me, yeah, it's 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 normal. Like, if you don't spend twenty dollars per entree somewhere, um, <laughs> either the food is not that good, or you're in a low cost area. We're in a high cost area, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then if you go in, so we're in Virginia, Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. Like we can be in D.C. in about from here right now. We can be in D.C., Washington D.C. in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but the good thing about eating in Virginia is they don't charge you a service fee. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You just get a regular your you know the fee and the tax. Right. In D.C. you got to pay service fee. Premium. <clears throat> yeah, and probably a 20 percent gratuity even if you take it out because we're paying for the cust we're paying for the employees uh wages <laughs> so the restaurant gets the money and then the customer pays for the, the wages i mean i'm sure i'm sure there's other taxes that a business owner has to pay but still it's it's still weird it's still a weird concept even if you always tip mm -hmm. i'd be curious i'd be curious to you know viewers how do you feel about that? Drop it in the comment section. Do you think servers and bartenders should be completely reliant on tips for their earnings? Or should the should the restaurateur entrepreneurs take the onus of paying their own employees a livable wage with um, paid sick, sick leave, pension, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. What say you? Put it in the comments. Yeah, I'm sure it's. It, I'm sure it's two, two sides of the coin because mm -hmm. the real estate and the rent in D.C. is just ridiculous. Right. It, well, even here, in Northern Virginia, but you know. True. It's hard. I think they make. I don't know. It's hard to have a. I think a food business. Yeah, the margins are already quite low in the restaurant yeah. world. <clears throat> but. While we have them, we are going to take advantage <laughs> of the of the food and the experiences. Mm -hmm. so, um, but yeah, um, the omelet is you know the eggs taste fresh. They taste nice. They're fluffy, soft, not hard, not overcooked, not burned, not too brown. Mm -mm. They're wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting... I think I'm ready to try your pancakes, sir. Oh, I forgot. We got pancakes. Let's try the pancakes. All right, now we got the pancakes. Fluffy. Um, they look like they're uh, cooked and fluffed to perfection. About to add the maple syrup or syrup. To add the syrup. Ooh, ooh, wee. All right. This Live came on. with a small fruit salad. What? Mm-hmm. Best service. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try these out, shall we? All right, let's do it. <sighs> I wasn't even in the mood for pancakes, but when I saw just how fluffy. You know yeah. how it is when you see something. Yeah. And it looks good. How many? This looks like three of them. Is this three or two? I think it's two there. Good sized pancakes. Mm hmm. That's two. Mm hmm. Almost a little bland compared to yours, though. That's because, yeah, my pancakes, when I make them at home, I put walnuts. Apples, mm -hmm. bananas, mm -hmm. <laughs> blueberries. Mm -hmm. They're loaded. Loaded pancakes. So. Mm -hmm. But these are good. These are what? Um, buckeye? <laughs> Buckwheat? Buckeye. <laughs> we just came back from Ohio. <laughs> they are. 
They're buckwheat. Yeah, they're good. But honestly, guys, not for nothing yet. Ooh. Jones's Jones's pancakes are the best. Maple syrup, man, these are a winner. Yeah, would you like that? Some melons and. Mm hmm. Pineapple, I think. There we go. There we go. Pancakes, fruit, and some melon, some pineapple. Can never go wrong with melons and pineapples. I think as you're enjoying that, I'm gonna carry on. Cause you know, we had the omelets and the biscuit, but you know, more things that illustrate how they um, make a flour that is gluten-free that is absolutely outrageous, delicious. So this is their cranberry orange scone, right? We've not tried this before. We come here from time to time, but we've never tried this before. But today I figured if we try some new things because we're doing it for the vlog. We're doing it for you all. So this reminds me of the days when I used to have a coffee shop in Brooklyn and I used to get my pastries from Baltazar and they're <coughs> Their scones were my absolute favorite. Back then, when I used to eat gluten, I couldn't get enough of those. So let's see how this compares. The mm. Baltazar's oh. um, got, scones are no joke. We did slather this with butter. I did. Just the top one, though. Mm -hmm. And a butter and a maple syrup. Mm -hmm. You know how pancakes are. Mmm. Mmm. It's buttery. Can I try it? Not too sweet. dry the way a scone's meant to be mm. oh yeah mm -hmm. you bite into a uh, like piece of sugar uh what's that like it's chewy the sugar the yeah oh it's a cranberry yeah because mm -hmm. the cranberry is like kind of um it's like it's cooked with the sugar and the butter caramelized yeah that's it caramelized it's good guys that's good it's not very sweet at all it's dry, which in my opinion, scones are meant to be dry. Cause yeah. then they go really nicely with coffee or tea, or if you add clotted cream or preserve. It's just enough sugar to make you know it's a uh, scone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I picked up another thing. Now this one, pecan pie, but as a tart. And the only difference is that um, Thanksgiving, we get the chocolate and pecan. Now this Does is just the tart. I have chocolate in it? Mm -hmm. oh. When it's just the tart size, it's just pecan. But honestly, it's so good. You don't even miss it. And then when you have the full size pie, and you bite into those pieces of dark chocolate, you're like, oh, this is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah. So either way, you're like in heaven. So we definitely have to do a video on the um, the pie, the actual pie. And we will come Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> so we love this pie. I was never even a crap no. uh, pecan pie person yeah. until I tried this one. And they use honey, guys. No fructose to sweeten, no sugar. I think um, the little bits up top that you're seeing are just crumbs. Yeah, they're from the scone. But those That's not like brown sugar or anything up there. That's just from the scone. But no, it's sweetened with honey. This is what the you think? really sweet to be like all natural sweetened. Mm. Like it's, why do we even have to add more, <laughs> more like chemicals and additives and preservatives to make it sweet? Like just honey, mm -hmm. oh, this is, it's really good. It's sweet. It's okay. caramelized. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it tastes all of you know the pecan. Mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> it's yeah, perfection. I got her into doing into pecans. Mm -hmm. I, I even get pecans. a pecan nut butter now for the house, which I love. Yeah, that's some good. That's mm -hmm. some good butter mm. instead of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Pecan butter. Mm -hmm. Out of this world good. Mm. Okay. I can't say the pancakes for later. Okay. You have one more thing, sir? I'm getting full now. We have one more thing to sample. Keep your fork. Okay, what else we got? Opera cake and tiramisu. <laughs> I think I'm going to try the opera cake first. So I've had the tiramisu. And I didn't really want any sweets today any rich 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 decadent sweets but what have you done with my husband it, <laughs> who are you since we have it you don't want a sweet 
Wow. Look at the layers on this. These are all, it's like six layers. All right, here it goes. Ooh. Ooh. For anybody who really loves chocolate, who loves, absolutely loves chocolate, this is a chocolate overload. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Regrets Ooh. or? No, no, it's good. It's good? Because he so claims good. he doesn't like chocolate. I, I, I like a fruit dessert over chocolate. I, over a chocolate one. And yet somehow we go through copious amounts of chocolate at the house. Because when you, when you, when we got together, you didn't see any chocolate in my house. Okay, that's true. That's <laughs> so, true. what is common denominator right here? <laughs> fair. fair, fair. Okay, let's try this opera cake. I gotta lick the pork. I think I'm gonna have that with um, coffee. Yeah. It goes, yeah. Mm. If you got some coffee, yeah, you don't even need to sweeten your coffee. Mm. <laughs> you don't need True. sugar or cream in your coffee with with this piece of cake. Not that it's overly sweet. It's actually dark chocolate. It's yeah. not overly sweet. No, no, no. He's not saying that. It's just it's it's a nice adult dessert, but because of the creaminess of it, mm -hmm. you don't need any extra sugar. There's enough dairy that it's like sweet enough through the dairy, like not that it's like over sweetened. Yeah, it's a lot of cream. Can I be honest with you guys? This was some bun adana, bun adana, like some Sunday oh, afternoon coffee yeah. from back home. This would be perfect, don't you think? Yeah, you could definitely gift this cake to the aunties. Yeah, <laughs> for Sunday. Yep, for when Sunday, they're roasting. Boom. Yeah, this. Oh, they would love you. To like, be honest, they would love you for that. This or the tiramisu. I think both yeah, of them yeah, yeah. would be beautiful. Either one, either yeah. one. Or shahi. Yeah, Even the yeah, tea? or yeah, or tea because we know habisha, tea or coffee. But we know, speaking of habisha, maybe coffee. And but it is any, Sunday. anybody else, any other African countries, <laughs> is gonna have tea. True. This is the tiramisu, guys. Oh, I didn't even show it to you all. Hold on. Let me show you all the layers. When I tell you, this is for me the best tiramisu I've had in my life. For me, and I'm not even a fan like that, honestly. Hmm. By the way, side note: Did you all know what tiramisu means? Quite literally, pull me up. Tira misu. Pick me up before you go, go. Tira means throw in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And Italian too. Mm -hmm. Misu, I don't know. Pull me up. Oh, pull me up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring me up, pull me up. Well, Ishe's definition of Tira misu wow. means wet cookies. Because when I found out how you make it, that's the only, that's the only thing that stood out to me was it's just wet cookies mm -hmm. <laughs> with some mascarpone. Yeah, mascarpone. Some with some cream espresso. on top. Yeah, espresso, you dip espresso. the cookies in the in the coffee and the espresso. Voila! <laughs> but Italian thing. food is simple but good. This tiramisu, guys, nothing um, funny. Um, you sure? <laughs> it's worth coming, like. Is worth coming out here for period. I think. Just the tiramisu. Everything else has also been equally great. This is so good, however, that even just this is worth coming out here for. Yeah. <clears throat> I got my my sweet kick, my chocolate kick, my coffee. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so you can't you can't you can't beat you can't beat this brunch. No. In this Sweet, spot. savory, yep. gluten-free, and the beautiful thing about this tiramisu is it has just the right amount of um, cacao up top, meaning you're not going to choke on it. You know how if they put too much cacao up top, you choke on it, and at the bottom, just uh, enough coffee. Yeah. Right. Just the amount, just the right amount of coffee. Beautiful. So it's nice and like <clears throat> moist. Really, really nice. Really, just beautifully done. I remember seeing that on an episode of uh, Come Dine with Me. We made tiramisu and like just all the chocolate dust. Mm -hmm. It was just too much. Mm. I never heard of too much, but they was like choking on it. Yeah. <laughs> so much. No, I've had I've had tiramisu that's 
got way too much cacao powder that it makes you choke for sure. Mm. It's really hit or miss with with um, tiramisu. It's hit or miss with a lot of food though, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> I'm satisfied, so I'm done eating. How about you, my love? Yeah. Um, that's yeah. a good thing to wake up to. Got Even out of we bed got late. Here at two o'clock. <laughs> we got here at two o'clock today. Um, well, to be fair, it took us what about forty minutes to drive here. Mm -hmm. We were being leisurely. Yeah, Sunday brunch, um, which you guys wanted to bring you on this brunch adventure. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to rate it's the that whole time. the whole experience. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, I gave it a. Eight out of ten. My omelet, excuse me, my um, crepe was perfect. The pancakes were beautiful. The cranberry scone, delectable. The pecan tart, amazing. The tiramisu, perfection. So, and even with the price points and all, I'm going to generously give this place a seven and a half. I would have given it an eight if the price points were better. I know it's not their fault. Uh, but but we're impacted <clears throat> by it because we have to pay. Right? Yeah. Well, I, I I think um, the price point. Yeah, because I was fully expecting to spend a hundred dollars for brunch today, <laughs> and we fair. was under that. But also, we didn't order any drinks. We brought our own coffees from home. We uh, have our own see, water. There is voice of reason here. Uh, but nonetheless, seven and a half because everything tasted amazing. Um, and I highly recommend it. What did you say about? Uh, yeah, because I guarantee you next week you're gonna be like, no. why didn't we get more tiramisu? Nope, <laughs> not coming back till November. Not until it's time uh -huh. to place my order for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. you, she's gonna be talking, about, AKA that's gonna she's gonna be talking about I'll talk tiramisu to <laughs> until we get some more, and that's gonna be way before Thanksgiving. I already know. Anyway, that's it. Is that it? Yeah, so your final score was an... Mine is uh, eight. And mine is a 7.5. And she's always, um, yeah, she's not as, as uh, forgiving. I don't know. Our, our palate's, hers is more refined than mine. No, it's all, it's all subjective. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. Yeah. No, I the get, food is amazing. No, the it's food honestly, is amazing. Honestly, just the prices. It's like that omelet alone was $20, right? Like Just, just the for omelet. the omelet? This is what I'm saying. I the didn't food, even know that. If, if I wasn't ranking, or if I wasn't um, adding the cost of the food and I just looked at the food, I'd give them a nine. Yeah. All right, y'all. With that, uh, with that being said, get free and stay free. And stay decent, folks.